that story where I've had a good nil-nil draw, which you could say against Stoke away. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it to that one as well. Considering how high, high flying Stoke have been this season, I'll probably take that as a good result, to be honest. And we did look very favourable. Ruben Colwell, um, a lot of the plaudits coming from the Stoke fans saying how amazing he was in that one. But coming up against a really struggling Norwich side today, um, and with the way that they've been playing as well, this could be very well be David Wagner's last game in charge. So for that reason, I'm feeling fairly confident. The only thing I'm not feeling confident about is the fact that Perry NG is injured. So here's the team today. Anik Ngol, Romeo replaces NG, McGuinness, Gutas and Collins at the back. And then a midfield duo of Schoppis and Rawls, who was captain today. Callum Robinson, Josh Bowler on the wings with Carlon Grant and... Yaku Meite up front. And then obviously leading off with the bench in Runnison, Panzo, Adams, Winslow, Sawyers, Tanner, Ruben Colwell, Kiana Tete, and of course EK Ogbo lining up. But Armistice Day today as well, so you can have all that before uh, kickoff as well. Um, Going to be an interesting one. I do actually. I am going into this game a lot of confidence. We did in our last home game as well, where we did get up the three points as well. And to be honest, and to be honest with the way that Norwich have been playing, this is going to be David Wagner's last game for me. So, apart from that, let's do it. Probably just cursed us, though. Thoughts on today, then? Yeah, you, I think you've got to be a little bit level-headed. Of course, we know Norwich are struggling at the moment, Nathan, but uh, a wounded animal and all that, they could come out for and all sinners, but they have got a load of injuries, haven't they? Um, Soros are probably the pick of their players, but I've, I understand he's been playing quite deep for them. So, um, yeah. if that's the case, then that should suit Cardiff down to the ground. Um, NG will be a loss, but Romeo last season was probably one of our better players, so it was a good opportunity for him. He's really good going forward, we know that. Defensively, he's yeah, he's okay, he's okay, but can get caught now and again. So, uh, but overall, a decent team, pretty much the same as last week, apart from NG. Fully expect a win today, but. As usual, got to be careful. There's a QPR at home, Watford at home, where we didn't kill these these teams off, did we? When we when we should have done so. Hopefully, they will, the uh, the fans will get totally behind the the boys today and uh, bring home three points before the international break. Look at that! What on earth? Downstairs, so take my card here for we. Hello, bullets for me, or me. Hello, bullets for me, or me. Hello, bullets for me, or me. Oh, say, lucky. Oh, oh, and away. Oh, for God's sake. Lines as blind as anything. Sharp in. City. Have a shot, Romeo. Lucky. Here we go. Straight through. Oh, ha, ha, ha. That is lovely. Well done. On a goose ass. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, 
back in bowler. Ooh. Come on! Come on, Grant. Oh my god! Come on! What a scramble. Oh. Waste. Lucky. Come on! There we go, bowler. About time! Come on! Come on! There we go. Two fouls last night. Come on. Rubens, 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 Rubens. Carla Robinson. Carla Robinson. Oh, we're lucky. Sadie! Sadie! So that's the end of the first half, 2 1 up. Uh, could say good side very, very, very slowly. Uh, yeah, letting that horrific goal could have been offside, but we need to this obviously a one to watch back and uh, go from there. But regardless, it was very poor defending from that corner. And then came back really well. First of all, Josh Bowler hitting into with the empty net. No keeper in sight, of course. And then a nice little head of Karen Robinson. Really pressing well uh, towards the end of that half as well. Norwich overloading a lot on one side. Constantly alternating. It started off overloading on Romeo. And then obviously switched slides eight later on. But looks like we're getting a better number of them now. We've just got to keep it up into the second half, to be honest. But with, if we go, by the way, we played at the second part of that first half, then I'll be more than happy, what do you think? Yeah, it was poor defending, wasn't it, from the corner. Um, I don't think it'd be offside, they've not been corner, but, um, I think there might have been a foul in the build-up to them actually getting the corner. Um, slow start, as I said, but overall, yeah, we took our goals, both of our goals. Was it Robinson? Fuller taking his goal really well, and uh, Robinson couldn't really miss, just had to nod it in. But, uh, overall, 2-1. Fair result. They, apart from that, they haven't really threatened. They, they're really squeezing us up from the goal kicks. It's um, sort, of, sort of trying to set a little bit of a trap, but it's, uh, they do seem to get the ball back. Mm. So maybe we've got to change our uh, sort of playing out of the back, maybe go a little bit more direct second half. But overall, yeah, we're, um, we're worthy 2 1 with uh, leaders at the moment. Referees are a bit suspect oh, as referee. well. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. She's having a she's having a medal for doing referees and everything, but she is terrible decisions. Shocking. Bowler. No, no, no. Oh, no one there. That's the problem. Come on. Yes, that is lovely. City. City. Oh, lucky Carlon. Unlucky. City. It's a corner! Woo! It's a corner! I don't know what is happening there. Oh, go on! Oh, that was like a touch like a trampoline. Come on! Well, in Robbo. Come on in again! God, is this referee thick or something? About time. Arabella Spami, are we? 
Kick. Shouldn't have been given in the first place. Oh, for God's sake. Defenders literally glued to the floor. Always from these set pieces, honest to God. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. My God! So lazy and lethargic at the back. Absolutely disgraceful. It's a lot of money in ages. Dear, oh dear. Oh my god. Come on, get it up there! Show a bit of energy, come on! Jules Rube. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on! Tete! Oh, the ball! Tete! Come on! Shoot, Rube! Oh! Swanzo JC! That is lovely! Oh. oh, you must be joking! Oh my god! It's a joke! Ah. No one there! Can't get it forward! God, they're really going for the press, aren't they? All turn. About time, ref. About time. Come on! Come on, so lazy! Got two minutes to do it, come on! Come on, whiffer in, JC. Oh, lucky. Just hold. Oh. We stop taking risks. We need to work it into the box. Come on. Time wasted on this. Flipping heck. Hurry up. Forty seconds. Shocking. Forty seconds to take a goal kick. What a complete loss of control this second half. Should be an extra minute, surely. Come on, we've got a game to win, come on! At least get a point out of these bottles, come on! <laughs> Absolutely shocking. Not quite sure how to describe that second half, to be honest. Referee, 
absolutely shocking second half performance we just sat back and got walked all over uh, just capitulated with those two goals in the end i believe one of them was a ryan winterlone goal as well second one adam Eder as well getting the uh, getting the winner for norwich but this lot haven't won in six it's just typical cardiff city isn't it and we really let ourselves down with that performance today it was woeful what do you think yeah it was bad wasn't it? second half um i think all the goals came after the substitution they did. didn't they so uh changing personnel they're not well you know you've got to make substitution you have some clutching the straws but they're defending at the corners absolutely terrible throughout and you could see it it was sort of wave after wave after about the 50th 60th minute 60th minute something like that it was just wave after wave of norwich wasn't it coming at us and they must have had about 10 corners in that second half or it seemed to be like 10 corners but yeah i don't know what was worse that are defending from corners where we've been so good in the past few weeks or that that uh that performance by the referee absolutely incompetent missing so many fouls and decisions going the wrong way but uh is that an excuse for that second half performance i don't know probably not uh yeah norwich uh they'll be happy going home to east anglia with all three points won't they but uh yeah, it's international break now, so regroup, hopefully come back stronger and uh, push up the table again. At least this international break now, really get a chance to regroup and get those, well, some of the injuries out of the way. I hope the Perry NG one isn't that bad because we were really lost without him today. But well, aside... I don't know, I thought Romeo... Did Romeo was okay, but he did get turned over a few times, didn't need to be mm. fair, but... Aside from that, if you have enjoyed, then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, do what you can, support the channel, that would be appreciated. Follow us if you need in the description. Follow the World of Football podcast on Spotify. Duvals, I think we have get, to. Let's get the Duvals back out, especially after that shocking day. But yeah, have a good one. Hoyle Val.